Hi guys! Today is going to be a slightly different video. I, I'm not really sure what to call this video to be honest, but I have been feeling a certain way about things over the past few weeks and I just feel like I really need to get it off my chest and talk to you guys about it because yeah, I just feel like I can't really move on with other videos until I have just put this out there in the clear. I guess the two things it comes back down to is the vegan community on social media at the moment and also my journey, my experiences, how I've changed, how that seems to be causing some sort of backlash. And I understand a lot of you probably don't know what I'm talking about at all, which is which is probably a good thing. But either way, I feel like I need to get it off my chest and put it out there and hopefully we can all learn from these events. When I first came to veganism, a lot of you guys will know that I went straight into the high carb, low fat, very fruit based diet and I became very passionate about it very quickly because my past eating, you know, relationship with food was not so good and you know, coming to veganism, I felt extremely passionate and just very enthusiastic about it all, sometimes very loud and I feel though I might have been a little bit obnoxious at times. And that's what I want to kind of discuss in this video that I've changed, that my journey over the past few years has led me to a different place when I first started and some people seem to have a problem with this and I guess I want to put it out there and say that I feel as though change is good I feel like everyone changes I feel as though if you're not changing that you're stuck or that your ego is holding you back and I feel as though change for me especially was very good I'm not gonna lie I feel as though the high carb low fat raw to four high fruit diet had a certain status about it. Anyone that was having problems with it just wasn't doing it right, it was kind of pushed to the side um, and you know was looked down upon or judged and I don't want to be part of that community. I don't want to be part of the vegan world where people are constantly throwing each other down about diet or judging and trashing other vegans because they're not eating a certain way or you know because you said this two years ago and you're not saying the exact same thing now and that's that's part of social media for you, you know. I put ev I put everything out there. Well, you changed, you said this two years ago. And I guess that's what is frustrating at the moment. I feel like it's very toxic and a lot of people cannot be accepting of that process of change. And I wanna apologize if anyone feels as though I misled them or that I was rude or arrogant or, you know, judgmental towards others because they didn't eat a certain way. I like to think that I spread things pretty positively in the past, but there was definitely times that I look back on where I think, how could have I been so close-minded? That's what this is all about, my journey from then till now. And I mean, I feel like this is a pretty big word to use, but I feel as though I was definitely brainwashed to a certain degree that this certain way of eating, you know, high carb, low fat, fruit was the ideal, was the perfect way and there was perfect people online that represented this perfect lifestyle. It got to a point where I wasn't as self-aware anymore and I wasn't really listening to my body and I wasn't really listening to my mind because I, it was so, no, this is the way, this is the only way, this is what you have to do. Like, And yeah, I guess it took me a little bit to get out of that and to realise that everyone is going to have their own journey and everyone's going to try different things and be different and that's okay. Out of all of this, I've realized that I don't want to be this guru that tells you exactly what to eat. I can only share my experiences and hopefully that will help others just like other people's experiences have helped me. And that's what I want this place to be on YouTube. A place where we learn off each other and a place where it's like okay to discuss different things and topics and not be judged, you know what I mean? Because I feel like the vegan community right now is so incredibly toxic. Everyone is trying to tear each other down over diets and whose diet is on top. And I don't even know how it got to this. People's egos are getting in the way of them being able to change for the better. And I never want to ever pretend that something is perfect or something is the best way to push my own agenda for my own selfish reasons like some other people are doing on social media with their platforms. Lying and defaming and bashing and trashing other vegans 
just to prove they're better or just for views or just for money and you know, just straight up lying about people and I just don't know how I got in this I don't know how I became part of such a to toxic community now don't get me wrong not everyone's like that there are so many positive people out there and I understand a lot of you might not even know the bad side or the drama which is a great thing and but I just feel either way that I have to say this, you know, I have to talk about it because it is building up in here, you know what I mean? I feel like the whole high carb, low fat fruit like scene had had the ability to influence a lot of people in the way that they thought it was the best for a certain period of time and they, they thought it was the top of the top when it came to diets. Other people on social media have, you know, instilled into people that there isn't another way and that you have to eat like this and anyone else that isn't eating exactly how they say is gonna fail and fall off veganism and is gonna you know burn and fail at life I think that everyone is different and people need to find what works for them in terms of food and diet and obviously I'm talking about you know I'm not I'm excluding animal products from this because animal products are not food to me they're not considered food and they never will be so that's just put that over there but in the realm of plants I'm talking that people are gonna have to find what works for them and that's okay and you can seek inspiration in other people because that's great but relying entirely on someone and following you know exactly what they do when you don't even know what they do because it's just a camera is ridiculous and <laughs> You know, a lot of this kind of clicked to me when I met all these gurus and I spent time with them and realized that it's not what you think it is um, a lot of the time. And I never want to get there. I never want to be that guru that thinks they're above others or that, you know, it's just, ah. I'm really struggling to put everything into words right now, guys, but I hope that you kind of understand where I'm coming from. This last few years have been a journey for me just as much as it is for anyone when they change their diet or their life or just life in general is a journey and it's okay to change throughout that journey you don't have to hold people to what they said a few years ago um, and I understand that as me putting things out there into the world I have a certain responsibility for other people as well and I take that much more seriously now and I I acknowledge my mistakes in the past and want to learn from them and want to better myself as someone here on social media that's spreading a message and trying to bring people to veganism because everyone that's on social media is a face for veganism for what we stand for I can't actually express how much I appreciate you guys being here like it's like legit like I want this to be a place where we, we communicate and and I want to keep sharing my journey with you guys and I want you to understand that it's my journey and I want you to understand that you have your own and that's okay as well. I also just quickly want to mention that I have been getting a fair bit of hate online for the fact that I'm still selling an ebook that I made a year and a half ago um, because people think that I've completely changed and I should no longer be selling something that I no longer believe in. However, I just want to clear this up and put it out there. Um, that recipe book that I sell is a $10 recipe book with recipes that are recipes that I still eat to this day. Yes, they I do have a few um, smoothie recipes in there that I don't eat as often as I used to because you guys know that I'm not eating as much fruit. However, the majority of it is just a recipe book. It's not a raw to four book. It's not a fruit based book. Um, at the beginning, I do tell a little bit of my vegan journey and also that you know, I don't eat oil or salt and I eat roughly an 80-10-10 diet. That's what I said when I originally released the book. I have since changed it. I just want you guys to know that all the recipes in that book are still recipes that I love and enjoy weekly. So don't think that I would be selling you some selling recipe book that I would never use now because that is simply not true. It was never a diet book. It was just a, a just a recipe book with you know a few simple tips and information about me and my lifestyle. I understand that the people that are saying that are just negative trolls and they're trying to you know get views or bring attention to themselves but if anyone any of you guys that have bought my book and you feel like I misled you by any means then you can always email me at hello at bonnierebecca.com and I will sort out any issues that you have. Anyway I guess what I wanted this overall video to be was 
about change, about accepting change, about knowing that everyone's going to change, about not following gurus, people online to a T and, you know, <laughs> just this bad toxic kind of mentality that people have towards status and diet and just, you know, how I got so caught up in it and how I now see my mistakes and how I thought about things and and just like this worship mindset that I almost had towards these gurus. And I want veganism to be a positive place for people to be, for us to actually do what we say we're about, which is compassion and love and helping people and helping the planet and helping the animals and making things about the animals. Because right now, all I see on social media is things about money, is things about views, is things about social blade, is things about subscribers, tearing people down, tearing people down for popularity, for views, popularity, views. Are you kidding me? But I feel better now talking to you guys about it. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna have a what I a what I eat in a day video for you guys, and it's gonna be you know like tracking my kind of like intake for the day, so you guys can see where I get like iron, calcium, like omegas and stuff like that from. So yes, that will be up shortly after this video. It's already ready to go. I just felt like I needed to film this first and get it off my chest. Ah, I feel better now. All right. If you want to have a talk about this in the comments down below, I would really like to do that. Um, be mindful of what you say and be kind to people. Yes. <laughs> I will see you soon, guys. Bye.